Hey, how's it going, Rush? All right, so let's see how this version works. It's a European roulette table. This game simulates a European roulette wheel. European because it has 37 number compartments, 1 to 36 and 0. The American wheel has 38 numbers, 1 to 36, 0 and double 0. The Bahamas, Puerto Rico, and South American countries are slowly switching to the American wheel because it gives the house a bigger percentage, of course. Odd and even numbers alternate around the wheel, as do red and black. The layout of the wheel ensures a highly random number pattern. In fact, roulette wheels are sometimes used to generate tables of random numbers. In this game, you may bet from $1 to $10,000, and you may bet on red or black, odd or even, a column or a single number. There is no long-range winning strategy for playing roulette. However, a good strategy is that of doubling. First spin, bet a dollar on an even odds bet, odd, even, red, or black. If you lose, double your bet to $2. If you lose again, double to 4 Continue to double until you win. That is, you break even on a losing sequence. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes sense. As soon as you win, bet a dollar again, and after every win, bet a dollar. Do not ever bet more than a dollar unless you are recuperating losses by doubling. Do not ever bet anything but the even odds bet. Good luck. Oh, so they're saying never bet on a single number. Yeah, because I mean the odds that you would win that are so tiny. That makes sense. Uh, so it's like so many other games of chance, computerized roulette has been around a long time in Fortran, Lisp, and so on. Its original author is unknown today. All right, so the game gave us the strat. Um, do we know how many, much money we're starting out with? That'll inform what our win condition is, I guess. Yeah, that's true, Zillow, right? In this case, it's virtual money, so we don't face any financial consequences if we lose. So it may, it may make sense for maybe a digital version of this. Uh, Akago, not only, yes, that is the very next game. Russian Roulette. <laughs> We'll get to that. There is Russian roulette, yes. Hey, Landale. Yeah, so let's see how much money, if we start with something specific or not. I'm curious. Uh, sure, I mean, depends. Yeah, depends how much um, we're starting with. So we'll see. All right. Welcome to Monte Carlo and our European roulette table. I wish you the best of luck. Do you want instructions? Yes, please. Okay, this is a game of roulette. You are allowed to bet an odd or even number and or a black or red number and or a column of numbers and or a number itself. Numbers range from zero to 36. If zero appears, the bank collects all debts except those bet on the number zero. The payoffs are as follows. So if we do odd or even or red or black, we get one to one odds. A column is 2 to 1 and a number is 35 to 1. You are allowed to bet from 1 to $10,000, but the table only accepts bets of whole dollars, no cents. Okay. Would you like to see a picture of the gambling table? Oh, sure. Oh god, that was too much stuff. Um, do you want to bet on an even or odd number? So I don't know, if we can bet $1,000... Well, I guess we, we're not starting with any amount of money so maybe instead of looking to get to a certain number figure we just look to win x number of times maybe oh what did happen to the numbers interesting oh good you played roulette oh that's awesome glitch wow and you won amazing All right, do you want to bet on odd or even? Uh, let's go even. Please type yes or no. Oh, sorry. Okay, I see it. Even odd. Or, okay, now we now we specify odd or even. Uh, let's go even. How much do you want to bet? I mean, I don't know how much we have, so it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter. A thousand. You want it to be a red or black number? Black. 
Oh. Why? Well, no, I'm only going with even, so no. I think they meant you want to bet on, or not B. Do you want to bet a column of numbers? No. Do you want to bet a number? No. Random number seed? One. The number is 15 black, odd column three. You lose $1,000 for your odd even bet. You lost $1,000 on this round. You've lost a total of 1000 so far. Do you want to play again? Yes. Okay, so it is keeping at least cumulative tracking. Matt, thank you for the host. Yeah, let's try to... I guess we can maybe maintain our... Usually we try to get to $1,000 in the casino games. Let's just do an even number again. Remember, they said double the bet. Yeah, so if we win this, then I guess it's a GG. Do you want to be a red or black number? No, no, and no. Random number seed, two. Ah, oh, damn it, the number is 25 red, odd column one. So we lost 2,000. Oh, now we've lost a total of $3,000, yeah. So if we do 4,000, uh, 4, eventually we'll win and we'll get up to... Um, yes, we want even um, 4,000, because we're at negative 3,000 right now, so 4,000 will get us to 1,000 positive. I think so, yeah. It is rush. It's the European version, so there is no double zero. There's just zero. Oh, this was your typo. Okay, no worries, Silla. Oh, and thanks. Thank you to Silla for helping us uh, get the game fixed. That's great. So that we could play it. Whoops, no. Number is 30 red. You win $4,000 for your odd even bet. You won $4,000 on this round, and you've won a total of $1,000, which means, of course, that, yes, that is it. We got $1,000 in the black by betting. Did we bet on black? No, I guess we didn't, but we bet on even. That does it. Won $1,000 in roulette. And it helps that we had an infinite bankroll, so we didn't have to worry about uh, any consequences there. So there we go. Yeah, actually, if we use the same seed, then yeah, it would just roll up the same number. So we could have bet 15. Actually, yeah, should we just try that quickly for fun? So let's just bet on a single number. We want to bet on 15. We want to bet uh, $10,000. Can we bet that? Yes. And then random number seed will be 1, which I think was 15, right? Yeah, there you go. You win $350,000. So just knowing what each number seed, what number it lands on, you can just recreate that scenario every time. 